What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? Matt, Sean, Roy, and James, Team United here. We are getting ready to review the next song in our uh, 22 season. It's Bulgaria's turn, the intelligent music project, and the song Intention. They uh, were internally selected by the broadcaster very, very early, like two days after the Eurovision last year, it seems like it. The band was announced so early and shortly after we had the songs, um, was it October? I remember like it was very early and uh, we were not used to that kind of early exposure. But was, was it like the song that should have been released first? Should have they waited? Is it good enough or not? Nah? Um, and um, let's just jump right into this. And we all know what the fans think out there. I don't think it's a secret. And I want to start on the positive first here. And I will be in the minority here, maybe. It's not that bad, people. It's just not. I mean, we've had train wrecks at the contest. And this is not, to me, the definition of a train wreck. You know, I think people are a little bit overreacting to the song quality. We have had some really terrible stuff. And I don't dislike it. It's not even at the bottom of my list or anything. Okay. But now that i am said that, um, I also... Um, don't think that the Bulgarian delegation put a lot of thought into this. They just like, hey, just sent this, whatever. And the band, there was not much thought process put behind this. Clearly, song over, I'm missing the mark completely with me and a lot of people in terms of like, will I vote for this? Will I be interested in it? No. Even within its genre, I would say it's even not its best. Because, you know, I know not every genre has to be always uh, be poop. Because some people just don't like the genre and ignore it. But even when you just look at it on its own merit, I don't think it's anything great. It's limited reach. It's almost like a B-side or even a C-side, um, if that was his thing. Um, in case you don't know what it means, it's a vinyl. You know, you flip it around. You remember? Those people are 19 years old. don't know how these vinyls work. And then you can listen to the other side. And that's a song that nobody wants to listen to. Um, so the problem is that uh, it's just... Yeah, it's kind of nice to me, actually, because I do like this. Uh, I do have an appreciation for something more like, I don't even know what kind of genre. It's like, I always call it Eastern European rock, which is always seems very broad. Um, it's just nothing to hold on to. And it's just not bad. I just don't think it's that bad, but not that good either. Mm -hmm. uh, James. Uh, yeah, I think Matt is exactly right. This is not horrible. We've seen some dumpster fires at Eurovision yeah. over the years. And um, yeah, this one just plays in a genre that is easy to dunk on. In America, rednecks listen to this. Um, you know, in Europe, um, you know, if you have an uncle who puts a Chevy LS2 engine in his Jaguar, <laughs> this is his jam. These are people that are sort of easy to make fun of. These sort of classic rock types or the hair metal types from the 80s you know hairdressers from middlesbrough you know uh uncles with bad choices in cars that sort of thing um i will say uh, <laughs> I will be, <laughs> uh I'll, I'll be complimentary i will say Ro uh, ronnie ribeiro is a great vocalist um listen to him singing online uh, listen to him with rainbow uh, his performance of since you've been gone racks up there with Graham Bonnet in terms of performance. And Graham Bonnet's one of the greatest uh, uh, classic rock vocalists of all time. So great vocalist. Um, the song, it's just, um, it's just a bland retread of 80s rock. And um, also as well, it's kind of jammed in into the three minutes. So instead of the solo having punch, it just sort of whoa, arrives and then it's it's gone almost before you notice. So it's not really arranged well for three minutes either. Um, another positive. Oh yeah, the drummer. We remember what he did uh, on that oh, yeah. water song years ago. And in twenty thirteen, um, don't forget twenty thirteen. Oh yeah, uh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this song not not That's a okay. favorite of mine. But I agree with Matt. Not a dumpster fire either. No, I don't think so either. Uh, Sean. Um, I didn't think I'd be like the more positive one. In fairness, I'm, I'm going to say that this is actually like, I, listen, it's a throwback. It, it is a little bit album trackish. I do concede that it, it's not the strongest out there, but it, it's solid enough. Um, you know, there's there's people who are fans of this genre, you know, the stadium rock, '80s rock type vibe. They're going to love this, um, and I think they will actually grow on people in Turin because I think when it comes to the stage and live, that's their domain. And I think they're going to be the, one of the acts that may transition better to the live performance aspect of it than others. Um, 
Is it going to win Eurovision? No. Is it going to qualify? I don't think it will. I, I have to be honest, but I, I appreciate that they've gone a little bit ballsy with this choice. It's something different. Um, we didn't actually end up with that much rock this year, so it does stand out a little bit more because of that. Um, it, it's never going to be winning the OJE poll or it's never going to be winning press awards or anything like that. But, I, I you know, I, I don't mind listening to it. It's just a little bit sort of bland and... I don't know. There's there's, yeah. there's something missing to it, but it, it, it's not. There are worse songs this year. Absolutely. Yeah. There are there are quite a few worse songs this year. So. Agreed. Right. Yeah, it's just like a bit of an old rock song, and when it is on, I do find myself like, okay, it's actually quite enjoyable. Um, but would I like choose to look it up and listen to it? Not really. It's just okay but i think this year is really quite strong and there's a lot of really fun and good songs so it is really just getting overshadowed by all the other songs that have way more interesting and inventive things to offer um it's just a bit of an old rock song and you know if there's anything to go by i listened with my parents and my mom had it as a qualifier so there's that doesn't say much though i guess um <laughs> hey maybe <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's enjoyable. The vocalist is quite good. The, the, the guitar solo is nice to have a break in the middle of the song. Um, but it's just a bit easily forgotten. And um, I don't think it will go that far this year. Yeah. So um, let's jump right into the points. How much did we give it? And I know I will get uh, some heat from our points because there'll be other songs that be lower. Like, well, you gave this less than Bulgaria. I'll get, I know I'll get those comments. But I'm just gonna be honest. I think there are actually redeeming qualities to that song to me. And I especially like the bridge part where it switches up a little and it wakes you up. So I'm actually giving it six points. Um, six points from me. James. You mentioned the old uh, music format. How about eight track? I think this genre belongs <laughs> on the eight track too. Uh, in your uncle's Jaguar with the LS swapped engine. Um, anyway, my score, it's a four. Not not oh. the worst on offer this year. Um, just sort of mm, underwhelming. Mm. Sean? Gee, I feel like I really went harsh with the scores this year. Um, I gave this a three, um, which is it's probably <laughs> lower than a lot of people will give it here. I, I, I look at like five as being like an average okay song, you know? Mm -hmm. um, three is kind of, it, it. it's bland and doesn't really speak to me, but I, I, I just appreciate the sort of the, um, diversity of it being here, and I'm sure it's going to have fans, and I think it will grow on me when I see it live in Turin. Okay, and then Roy. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting point that you mentioned that you have kind of maybe got a bit of a harsher score, whereas for me, I think I'm a bit more on the positive side. Like, I, I still gave this a five. I don't think it's that bad of a song. It, it's still enjoyable, and it, it's not good enough for a, a passing grade, if, it, if that makes sense, but a five, yeah, seems fair. <laughs> All right, so I was actually the nicest one, but I'm more with Roy when it comes to judging it. I have five is for me like you have to be bad to get usually less than five because mm. you know there is thought and pro it's not a horrible song. You have to be actually really bad in my view to uh, get a really low score. But anyways, so these are our four scores. May not be a good start, but maybe we are being a little bit overruled by the rest of the team. Let's find out. The team overall combined score from everyone at Team United is. 4.04. It almost hit the three. That I want to say this is one of the lowest score I have ever seen. And yeah, I will nice. say it, um, again, it doesn't win awards, as uh, Sean pointed out, but I just don't understand why it is. It's not that bad. It just, re it's, maybe it's, maybe it's just a good year and it just happened to be the least good and it just get extra harsh criticism. Any thoughts, anybody? Because I, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, I think a lot of people bought into the hype of this is the worst sign. And again, it's more because of the their usual fan base. They're an easy to dunk on fan base with ridiculous fans and a ridiculous sound. <laughs> and I think people just bought into the hype rather than try to objectively listen to the song. Yeah. I guess that's what it is. So no need to elaborate on this score because I think it speaks for itself. 
I will show you the overall scoreboard at the end. If you want to see it, um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.